so in this code on the first line we are creating a constant variable with the name of num1 and after this we are assigning it a number value which is 1 million and on the second line we are creating another variable with the name of num2 and after this we are assigning it a value which looks a bit different and after this on the last line we are using console.log and we are checking if number 1 is strictly equal to number 2 and on the execution of this line this will print true on the console and this is because on the second line we are using numeric separators and numeric separators in the javascript allows us to use underscores within the number to make them easier to read so even if the number 2 have underscores but they will not change the value at all and javascript simply ignores them and read it as 1 million and that's why when we compare number 1 and number 2 they are equal and that's it for today's video and we will meet you in the next javascript challenge